everyone i'm back with another video but in today video i'm not gonna build anything the thing about today video is today is kind of different today i want to go through the gallery and get inspired by your design and your buildings and everything because i feel that recently i'm just like blocked nothing is inspiring anymore and all of my building is gonna be like it's kind of the same same design same like uh, floor plan everything looks the same so oh i built this building as well so that's why i want to like delete this current lot that i've been working on for like maybe a week as you can see it is not finished and it's a gorgeous lot actually like I love the uh, all the details but since I feel I need something new something like more fresh I decided to not proceed with this one see this is the lot at all the details that I've been working open windows like this but the fact that it's kind of uh, boring for me like and here is the floor plan from top here should be the stairs it is actually the stairs it's been a while since I just was I was I remember working on the kitchen and this uh, lot is without uh, any kind of CC so look at the kitchen I was working on the kitchen but then said okay I don't want to do it anymore yeah and I don't want to also delete this lot so what I'm gonna do I just uh, want to save it to my library then later on like okay uh, here it says model but the only thing that I use for this uh, lot was uh, oh my god what was that uh, move object but it's all with the items that you have already in your game okay I'm just keep it in this way I hope I'm not doing anything stupid because I want to delete this a uh, lot uh, like actually and go through the gallery and find something else like try different cottage style and see what you have so say goodbye to the moment to this moment mm -hmm. okay so let's go to the gallery oh this is like a good yellow but it's too yellow for me actually like maybe someone is like it but for me it's kind of too yellowish so cottage oops did it like it's cottage why why what's wrong with me cottage living I thought I'm doing this something wrong because I was like kind of in doubt is it cottage with two uh, double T or something else so I'm gonna put it on only lots and I want to pick like uh, random lit real lots from the gallery and see uh, what kind of objects they use in their design and uh, like the like different floor plan anything else like anything could be inspiring to me so let's go scroll down i want to beat uh like do it randomly as much as possible but i'm not sure if i'm gonna like um, 
make it that happen because you know sometimes you see a lot really beautiful very well designed like a, like from the photos and you really want to see the lot so it's not be a total random so forgive me in advance if it's not totally random okay like this one as i can see it's a cottage living farm see it's like it is beautiful i really want to see that see like a lot of things a lot of objects mm -hmm. nope save it here i want to furnish definitely because i want to see what did you do in your design mm -hmm. yeah it used move objects cheat Okay, 73 build mood item and uh, 57. That's okay. Oh, the windows and everything. Oh my god. That's okay still. It's gonna be fun. Let's just start from the outside. Cool thing. Cool. Two like small farm here. A pond. A place for in like okay we have so many pots here it is a really cool idea but what i prefer is which has already here but i prefer to like have a really cozy sitting area like a lovely place because as you can see there is a beautiful pond with lots of landscaping and everything it has already you know it's kind of unnecessary but it is still beautiful i will uh, i i actually love the idea but i i will not use that many pots like for planting and also there is a eating chest another one here decoration trees and there is a bridge here okay and also we have more landscaping and a cozy area for sitting like and dining actually we have a coop here oh this is cool like the landscape it is amazing like let's look at it from above there is water there's a big pond from here and also here we have two seating area like one here one here dining table like a small thing we have four chickens and also animals as well we have like a small farm but the thing about this a lot like the in outside the landscape is spectacular i really love it like it has lots of detail it means that the lots of work is done here and uh, lots of uh like it's well designed but there is a thing since it's kind of a uh, cottage living and the idea is like farm and animals and stuff i prefer to have a bigger farm so i will do it like a bigger place for my plants and let's go inside which unfortunately i don't have windows and as well uh, like doors as well but it's okay uh, we're gonna guess we have mm -hmm. from top floor one bedroom two bedroom we have two photos oh they also have two photos like the, there are also family photos actually oh my god this is beautiful so cool he is cute mm -hmm. more one kids room here okay more photos yeah perfect that's cool a place for children 
to do like craft, a playhouse, dollhouse actually. Perfect. Let's go downstairs. Downstairs there is another bedroom, two bedroom, one restroom. And there is a dining area here. That, and I assume here was the main door, which I don't have the main door in my pack and also here if you see this is white here it's because i don't have i guess i don't have the original uh, like dining table that the uh, designer was used in their design so that's why it looks like this even like as you can see here also sofas mm -hmm. in the kitchen i never used this oven in my in none of my buildings none in none of them but i do use this fast a lot which is beautiful like really cool so let's go outside i'm just gonna do it in this way mm -hmm. and here there is another room it's i guess it's like a playroom yeah it is like a playroom we have different family photos and stuff mm. oh now i see how we can use these light bulbs yeah if you see if you go to a diva you see there are some light bulbs like this I never used them because I didn't know how to use it. They were too big, they were too kind of like giant light bulbs and now I see I can use it in this way, smart. So uh, this design like this uh, lot is really beautiful especially the outside the outside is perfect i cannot say enough about the outside but the inside like the floor plan for me it's not really something that i go with i prefer something if i want to have uh, uh, like cottage living i prefer to have more wooden area like more wooden texture for example these cabinets like i prefer it in this shape or maybe this one like let's see like uh, everything related to the wood it's really beautiful and i don't know what type of dining table it were used here but still it is beautiful but i will definitely change make some changes here but the outside i'm not gonna touch it it is like a masterpiece so moving forward i'm just destroy this slot and move forward to another one sorry and going back to the gallery and finding something else we just use this cottage living farm okay i'm not gonna go through the farm thing like those ones which had they have already farm and their name i want to use It looks like one of my designs. It's not exactly, but it was similar in some ways. This one seems cool. Let's see. Oh, I just bumped it. Come on. Okay, it is um not big i really want something big let's change i want to limit my out okay this is interesting definitely furnished i want to see inside And also uh, move objects so it's okay you can uh, like later on use the cheat and that's is fine oh my god look at this oh my god 
it is beautiful so okay like what I see from here oh it is hidden here I was looking for days I didn't see so from here what i see the landscape is astonishing i really love the landscape and the colors also and also this wooden panel that they used as uh, their design and one thing i want to see the details of the walk see this is amazing whoever designed this like I am speechless. Look, genuinely, I love it. And yeah, it is a farmhouse. Then definitely you have like here more place to grow uh, plants, and also we have it here. And if you look at, there is also yeah oh my god details and the place for animals like shed and the coop for chickens and the landscaping look at the detail it has lots of detail like it it is like a lot of work i w tried once to do this this trick to use the uh, to cover up with stones but i just got bored and after like one or two rounds i just said oh i don't want to do it anymore and change the design the whole design but here as i see oh my god and even if you look at here you see this is beautiful and yes let's go inside so we start from here there is it seems that it's like a guest house or something if i'm not wrong yeah there's a small kitchen it's like a sweet small sweet small kitchen and a small bathroom and a TV and bed. Yep. Cozy guest house. In here we have the main house. So this is the kitchen. Uh another one bedroom here, one restroom and one a living room and dining area. And okay this is a issue for me using ladder instead of stairs it is really saving space but i don't know have you noticed but my sims when i use ladder and when i want to ask them like to do the laundry outside they the, it's i don't know it's a glitch or it, they actually cannot do use the ladders so they just threw the laundry inside like inside the room and doing nothing because they i used the ladder and there is no stairs for them while they are holding the like sack of laundry or dirty clothes or whatever they have so all the time i have problem with hair and also one thing that i had problem is once in one of my designs used ladder and i put the kids bedroom on second floor and i used ladder so my kids couldn't go up then i had to change the whole design because uh, my kids couldn't use this uh, ladder instead of the stairs and also while the parents holding their kids they couldn't go up or put them to into the bed so i had lots of trouble with that then i changed the design then after that it, it fixed by using just the stairs and i'm not telling it's like sims or anything i i don't know maybe it's a glitch or it's only my sims are crazy 
Okay, let's start with the kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of home. Okay, this one is more uh, like cottage living style. You can see the cabinets, this all the accessories, like everything that's been used in the kitchen is real, except this one, which I'm not gonna use it. Although, you know, when you know what is it, you don't use it. But when you don't know exactly what's it, then you are free to use. You don't have any weird feeling to use it. And one thing is they used... It's a platform. Yeah, it's platform. Yeah, it is a platform. And here... Let's roll down. There is a small dining area. And I actually, in my real life also, I have the same dining table, like, um, close to the wall. And I really don't like it because my place is small and I can't put the dining table in the middle of kitchen or the dining area. And that's the problem with my dining area. And I don't really love it. And every time when I eat or uh, like preparing anything when I'm on the table, like I see wall in front of my face. And sometimes I feel that I'm not communicating with the person who is sitting next to me because I prefer to sit like in front of each other then it would be like more connected to other people. But this is the thing that I really don't like it and I literally in uh, actual life outside Sims, I'm not doing it. I don't use it. Now I don't use my dining table and that's the problem. It's because I have limited space and I can't put it somewhere else. That's a problem and I don't know how to solve the issue. Maybe I should change my mind. Okay, there is a living uh, room. The living room, it's really cozy. I love it. And also, I'm recently obsessed with this one. This is... Here. Come here. Where are you? No space to put. See, it has like different swatches, and you can use it. Where is it? Why I cannot see it here? Do you see it, or um? Okay, it's here. It's it was a little bit. And I really love this fireplace. It reminds me of my childhood, like the time when we go to when we went to my grandma house, she had the same fireplace and it was really extraordinary. I remember I was really keen to put wood inside it and I remember once I was almost burned the house. It's, it was too dangerous. Don't leave your kids alone with the fireplace. And we have a bathroom, which is cozy, small, convenient. And we have a bedroom here. It, I assume it's for like teenagers. I really love the detail behind the laptop. See? <clears throat> It's this one. Okay, I'm not, since I'm not using move object, I cannot put it here. But you got the idea. So let's go up the stairs. Mm -hmm. It's too. Uh, there are too many details, like so many details to cover up, so I'm not gonna go through all the details. We have one balcony here, one here, like one here, it is like beautiful, and we have a bedroom here, one bathroom, one like a kind of 
it is actually it is part of the a bedroom this is another bedroom and this is a living room nope it, this is also a bedroom as well okay the floor plan it is quite good but still i have problem with ladders i prefer use the stairs and we have on top oh this is a cool thing i always wanted to have a place like this like a place full of junk stuff and everyone i i guess everyone has this place at their home or at least they have been to these kind of places maybe but correct me you know i remember like my grandma's house there was a place like this that she kept everything like literally everything you could find there from childhood even and i was amazed by the detail and everything because you could find anything anything and here is a small like a gym thing oh my god let's see where is it oh my god you can believe you cannot believe this i use this object several times like in different designs but i never saw let me show you here there is shoe yeah it's a pair of shoe shoot this design was incredible like the floor plan the outside it was like compact and you had everything but the thing about this design was using a stairs was not using stairs and instead they used ladder which i prefer to use the stairs because it's more functional in some mm -hmm. ways for my scenes like i'm not sure if anyone else has the same experience or not but moving up to next design let's see so far i got really cool ideas i really loved it and one thing that i want to say i am suffering actually suffering from building a house while my like uh, like the ground is like this i have full of ups and downs and it just I am already blind, like nothing is inspiring to me. And when I get, when I say, okay, let's do something cool, and I do this uh, with my lot, I say, okay, now I have no idea how to fix this or how to continue building. So I'm gonna skip that. So I'm just changing to 50, 40. Maybe we have more object this one this is a thing i really like it not because like i i don't know what's it inside yeah the, yes but let's use see this one i hope we can find something really interesting here as well so far i like got some cool ideas to what's going on here okay i don't know what's going on here probably it's uh, like the roof oh my god i'm so stupid why <laughs> I can't believe that this just happened. I was like, oh my god, there's a glitch in my game. No, it's not a glitch, dummy. So, this is another farmhouse. Okay, like, there is a small place to plant and a shed and a coop for chicken. And there is another area here, which is empty. I don't know if it was like empty by purpose or i just missing some objects i'm not sure which one is and we have look the landscaping is not really detailed it's kind of simple actually but the floor plan like from 
in front you see like we have like more details as well like here instead of the back of the building behind the building but I don't know I don't like these mushrooms it is we can find them from here it's the furniture I'm not gonna use this outside it is cute though but it's not really something that I would use in my design like in my building but generally the idea was like but it, it makes it cute and the floor plan from outside i haven't seen the inside but let's see uh the floor plan like from outside to me seems interesting and if i look at it from top i believe there are lots of space inside like there is a spacious house so let's go inside and see what we have we start with the first floor okay we have one bedroom here which is really big we have like some empty space here so if i had that much empty space in my building definitely i use a toilet or restroom or walk-in closet or something when i have a big like bedroom like this and then we have something like a working place like a library room or something yes there are some items that I'm I don't know the shelves were empty initially or anything like let's say it is a cool idea yeah I, I really uh, I will use the same I actually use the same idea like uh, design for my working place and work like office or library room or a place to read or do homework and there is a bathroom it is blue and look at the cabinets it is cute as well like it has details it feels it gives you the feeling of that you live in the cottage and we have another room as well here see let's look at it from out yeah these rooms are okay this is this one connected to the, it looks like a puzzle so I'm trying to solve it so this bathroom is connected to this bedroom and there is a small gym area and two like closet here which is not like a walking closet but still to empty area and that's it and we have okay we have one bathroom and toilet here and there is a door and also okay the, the outside door inside mm, not gonna use the item and here we have okay walls down <laughs> we have a living space like living area actually not space <laughs> it is cool cozy like homey style and i love the color i never use the green but it just motivated me to use it because now when I see it, it is actually working and the color green, it's kind of colorish. Yeah, this color green as well, it, it is beautiful as I will use it. And what else we have? We have a dining area here yes that's what i'm talking about dining table should be placed in the middle of the room not next to the wall next to the window yeah works but to the wall mm -mm, i'm past there is another uh, uh what's it uh, oh my god living area living room and this is cool half walls half walls makes your 
design makes your lot much 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 more lively and it gives like personality to your place and it is actually like feeling that you are at home even though it's just a game i li- really love half walls and i want to use them more often because the more i use um, i feel like more good like about my design and what do we have here there is another bathroom and we have stairs so let's go upstairs let's see from top one uh, one bedroom bathroom here and one bathroom and bedroom here one two three four five Okay, about this one, I guess, as you notice, there are too many bedrooms, but depends on your family size. For example, I I have a like, big family, like eight, eight, yes, the maximum is eight, I guess, yeah, eight uh, family, like family member, but the thing here is, there is, it's a bigger space. But it has lots of tiny, tiny, tiny rooms, like they are connected and it looks like a puzzle, which I don't like it. I really want to have like a straightforward design, like floor plan and or maybe, uh, maybe, maybe some uh, open space. But this is something new that I will try because I don't want to step out my comfort zone. And now by this design, I feel that I want to do something different. Because if you look out the building from outside, you see like all the details and how it turns out well. So I'm gonna use the same idea like using so many, I don't know, maybe walls to cover up and stuff or being more out of my comfort zone but i don't know how much i'm gonna manage it but still let's try and then find out and this like upstairs is mostly bedrooms and each bedroom has different color tone which is good but they are not really personalized it's like you just copied uh, like put it just there to mm, furnish the area that's what i feel Maybe I am wrong, but generally this line, like this home, like the building, just the building is good, really good. I love it. It has a lot of space, which I am really into big houses and I really want to have big family, like big parties and stuff. I want like big dining table with lots of people sitting and eating and talking and it's like a party place and since when you are uh, like having a cottage living style it gives you uh, like your it gives me at least gives me the feeling of living in my grandparents house which is really a uh, pleasurable pleasant that you have this feeling about your design and uh, here it ha- it, the building is extraordinary like using a stairs big a space enough space like but the thing about this building was about the outside i if i want to use this building i would definitely change the outside definitely change the outside i will work more on landscaping and i add some more uh, like farm sheds and coops to give the feeling that outside as well like the feeling of cottage living or a farmer house or something like that then or maybe a greenhouse or something like this to give me the feeling more feeling of like living in a cottage or in a village well you are like wealthy by the way that the today actually i got some cool ideas by your designs and i would do it more often 
because now I see what I want exactly from the design from and building and stuff uh, because when you are build something it's hard to find an insp inspiration or something like where should I put this or like a floor plan I go to you uh, through Pinterest and all God is just copying the design and like the floor plan which doesn't belong to me and I don't want to do it that in that way so I prefer not to build anything and not playing the game but now with this idea like I got some cool ideas like about floor plan uh, landscaping and everything which I will do in my next building the one that I just uploaded into the gallery if you see that I have uploaded something like this in the gallery please don't be surprised it just there uh, just I don't want it to delete it it's just okay I actually yes I've deleted uh, uploaded so it's just there just just to have a copy of that then that, that's it okay any yep I don't know I guess I messed up something Yep. I don't post, uh, like, upload my buildings here. Unfortunately, because, like, I don't like the feeling that, hey, I need to, like, getting approved or something. <laughs> Maybe I should work more on this but still i really want to post more often but let's see okay now i see i messed up i just deleted my house the one that i was working on and i cannot see it here i don't know i have uploaded somewhere but it's okay it's life so today I got some cool ideas about landscaping and designing and floor plan and everything and I will back with another video which I'm gonna show you like what I built based on these ideas that I got from the gallery. Have a lovely day, enjoy your life, be happy and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!